Welcome to C programming. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use the else if statement. So let's quickly go back to our previous lesson where we spoke about the if else statement. If you look at the if else statement, you have a condition and it's true or false. If it's true, some if true statements will be executed and if it's false, some if false statements will be executed. Either true or false will always run. And then if one of them um, executed, it will continue with the rest of the code. Now the else if statement is different from the if else and the if because it's nested if else statements. So nested meaning there's a few if else statements inside each other. Okay, so let's look at the flow diagram of the if, else if statement. So first of all, we have a condition. That's our first condition in our else if statement. So if this condition is true, we will do some if true statements and continue with the rest of the code. But if this condition is false, we continue to the next condition. So first of all, let's quickly read this. If this condition is true, we do this. If this condition is false, we go to else. If this condition is true, we do something. Or else, if this condition is true, we do something. Else, we do the last if-else part, and that's the if-false statements. So you can see it's nested else or if else structures inside each other and we call this else if statement so it's basically nested structure of if else statements so let's look at the code blocks implementation of the else if statement just quickly looking at our previous um, program that we what we used in the if else example we had an input we asked the user for input mark that's out of 100 we got that input from the command prompt or terminal and then we said if the input is bigger than and equal to 50 we have a pass mark else we have a fail but we said what if the user has a input that's not correct let's say minus 5 or something above 100 we need to test for that so let's see how we would do this by using a else if statement first of all we have our input mark we ask for the input mark and we store it inside input the variable and then we start so there's either two ways of doing this going from a high number to a low number or from a low number to a high number and you will understand what I'm talking about while we're doing the else if so let's say for instance we're going to work from a low number to a higher to the high number so let's say first condition we're going to check if the input is smaller than zero okay so we're checking for the lower boundary the mark must be zero or higher so if the mark is below zero we can safely assume that this is a incorrect input then we continue we say else if that's why we call it an else if statement we say else if the input is smaller than 50 smaller than 50 we can assume that it's going to be a fail mark fail then we can say else if the input is smaller than and equal to 100 we can print out pass 
and then else meaning it's not smaller than zero it's not smaller than 50 it's not smaller than or equal to 100 it will then be definitely bigger than 100 we can then repeat this as incorrect input okay so quickly note that only one of these statements only one of these statements will be executed only one of these let's quickly just to make sure go back to the else if statement the else if statement if we look here if we follow this path if we go down to the condition and it's true only this statement will go and we continue with the rest of the code if it was false we go to the next condition true only this one so only one of these four statements will execute and in our case it's printf 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 and a printf only one of those printfs will execute okay so smaller than zero smaller than 50 smaller and equal to 100 and then about 100 that's why i said we're working from small to big because we're looking at this boundaries from small then we go bigger bigger and then above so let's run this and see what happens so our input mark let's say we enter 30 so 30 is going to be a fail so how did we do 30 it was if input is smaller than zero is 30 smaller than zero no then you go to the else if is 30 smaller than 50 yes we print fail and then we continue with the rest of the code here okay so let's quickly do a pass mark let's say 70 so it's a pass so what happens if we say input is smaller than zero so is 70 smaller than zero no is 70 smaller than 50 no is 70 smaller or equal to 100 yes so we print out pass so let's quickly check for our incorrect conditions let's say the user makes a mistake and enters minus five incorrect input so what happens is if input is smaller than zero minus five is definitely smaller than zero so you print out incorrect input incorrect input okay let's do this for something bigger than 100 let's say 110 incorrect input so what happens is 110 is not smaller than zero we go to the else if 110 is not smaller than 50 110 is not smaller or equal to 100 so else we print out incorrect input as you can see so that ladies and gentlemen is the else if statement you can use the else if statement in different variations but this is just the core basic else if statement example thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon